What's up everybody? It's Jonathan from Lone Wolf Day Trading and I just had a textbook trade. I just made over $450 in less than six minutes. I'm gonna break down every entry and exit that I had and tell you what was going through my mind the entire time. Let's get into it. What's up everybody? We're about eight minutes into market open. I took a small position on IGC, 250 shares. It's normally not the type of stock that I do trade, but I did see a small amount of potential in it and did take $24 from it. I'm currently looking at TWLO. This is one that was down in the pre-market. As soon as it opened at 9.30, it had immediate downside. I'm taking a look at the daily right now. It looks like the low was $73. So $73 is where I'd like it to pull up close to before I actually do enter for a short. Uh, now what's really helping me now is that it is down on the day and then also there are a lot of uh, shorters and a lot of sellers uh, that are going into the stock just based off as soon as it opened it crashed down there was no type of pullback whatsoever another thing that's very interesting about this stock is that it's holding between the moving average and then also the vwap the vwap is the red line and the moving average is the blue line now, thinking in the head of a um, someone that's bullish and someone that's bearish, someone that wants it to go up or someone wants to go down. Um, now, the bulls want to push through this VWAP, the red line. Uh, there is currently a bear or a bull flag that is formed, um, and then now they're just trying to push it through, break that resistance of the VWAP, and turn it into a support line. As a shorter, we want it to move um, below this current uh, half dollar. Now we're at sixty-nine and a half. We're gonna watch the buyers that are on the left and then the sellers that are on the right. As soon as the buyers start disappearing on the right side, we're gonna enter with a small position of 200 just to get started. Now 200 isn't the full amount that I'd like to go in, but I do believe this stock has potential to move uh, further up. And uh, now we just entered our position of 200 shares. My average cost is $69 and a half. So every cent that this moves below $69 and a half, it's gonna be $2. So we're currently moving down, but we still do have this bull flag that has formed. We're still, we came up uh, around 936, and then we just, you know, started going horizontal. Uh, so it is holding its position, which you would want to see more of a downside, but I do believe that there is potential here. We just see how it reacts to this VWAP and the moving average. All right, so um, the, the stock is spiking. This is called a short squeeze. Uh, this is mostly people that are setting their stops possibly at the VWAP. Uh, if they're shorter, they're buying to get out of the trade. And then also buyers are buying it, uh, believing that it was holding at that half dollar. Now for me, this is where I want to enter in a greater position because this is closer to that $73 range that I originally wanted to go in. So now we have 700 shares with an average cost of $69.99. Now we're looking at the total P&L, the realized, and then also the unrealized. What do those mean? Total P&L is going to take into account the realized and also the unrealized. Unrealized means that's just currently where we're at with our position. Realized means you're out of the position, you close that position, and that's where you're at. As you can see with IGC, my realized is $24 and the total P&L is $24. So that means that trade is completed. Now, right now what I'm looking at is I want to ensure that this candle that's forming right now does not break over the previous candle's high. If it does, then I'm probably in some hot water. Um, it could become even over, more overextended and possibly look to add to the position. Um, we see that's breaking through the VWAP and the moving average right now. And this is definitely a good sign because we're wanting those two lines to become a resistance as a shorter. You always want to keep your eye on the bid and the ask, the buyers and the sellers. It's not so much about... Um, the the realized or the unrealized or the total p l as you can see i just came out 400 shares we currently have 300 left uh, now the average cost is 69.99 so we are about 40 cents 30 cents of profit every cent that this or every um cent that it does move down is going to be three dollars so you kind of get an idea of you know how much you may be risking or be gaining now we're breaking through this bull flag that's formed. I'm wanting to get, get closer to the whole dollar, but with any whole dollar or half dollar, there's gonna be uh, buyers and then also sellers. So we're pushing through right now. 
We're going down. There's a lot of sellers that are stacking and we just pushed down to $69. So $69, we see that it hits with a lot of force, but it stays there. And that's because there's a lot of hidden buyers and sellers. Hidden buyers and sellers, depending on the broker that you have, you have the ability to hide your orders so people don't see them. Now, if this pulls back any further, I'm not wanting to go through a pullback, so I'll just get out of my position with 300 shares. So we're just waiting to see how this reacts dropping down so quick. And then right here, I am out of the position. I hope you all enjoyed my live trading session. If you did, go ahead and place a like at the bottom. If you didn't, then there's no option for that. Just, just move to the next video. Just, just forget about it. Just get the hell out of here. As always, I put my email in the description. If you have any questions or just want to reach out to me, feel free to. Again, this is Jonathan from Lone Wolf Day Trading. Stay green.